and welcome to my channel where we talk about fashion, skincare and lifestyle in general. So if that's something for you then hit that subscribe button and also remember to follow me on Instagram. I have a personal profile where I post and talk about everything and I recently created a skincare profile where obviously I talk about my skincare journey. I post tips, reviews and things like that. So you decide where you want to follow me on but I would appreciate if I saw you at one of those places. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, 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 I love you. So in today's video, I'm coming with an unboxing for you of one of my newest bags, or basically my newest bag. It's not an official unboxing because I already opened the bag and I actually used it already but just to give you the feel of it I'm going to show you the box. To be honest I bought this bag secondhand or pre-loved so I'll talk about that more later but I just wanted to mention it because the girl said it comes with the box and the dust bag but I can clearly see that she gave me a box of a different Gucci item because this is way too small for the bag. My Gucci bag, the one I bought in store, came in a way bigger box and I can see it doesn't really fit in there. I'm still happy that she sent the box because I would have bought it without the box as well. And I'm actually more into having the dust bag than the box itself. I mean, I don't even keep them in the dust box, but still it's just good to have for traveling and, you know, things like that. But without talking too much about it, here it is. You can easily see it's like, you know, I just put it in not so well so it's a little box i think it was maybe a shoe box or something like that but yeah so i just open it with the magnetic opener and then it comes in the dust bag and the bag i am talking about is the gucci oh <laughs> so the bag i'm talking about is the gucci marmon in size small velvet material and rubin color i think i've seen this color mentioned with different names but here it is it's this one it's not the pinky one it's more like the purpley color that's how i would describe it and it has the chevron design it's basically it has the same design as the other marmon bags has in leather version but as i said before this is in the velvet one thing to know the difference between this and the leather version is as these are a little bit more stiff than the leather versions. I don't have the leather version but I looked at it in store and I also watched many videos about it and I heard that they are more like squishy here so this part here is pretty firm I would say but you still have to make sure that you don't you have to take care of it because this is also I would say a fragile bag you can see already there's a little bit of sign of use because of the chain but it's simply because of the velvet and that was also the reason why I wasn't sure that this is going to be the bag for me because I always take care of my bags but I want to be careless when I'm out with them meaning that I don't want to worry oh my god someone like just passed by me and touched my bag and now maybe there's a scratch or a little bit of stain so I think that's a bit annoying I've only had it maybe two times out so I can't say how much it bothers me so far but one thing I can say is that I love 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 the looks of this bag I think it's so extremely pretty and the color is i love it i don't have anything in this color no clothing item shoe okay i have a shoe i have a nike pair of uh, a nike air force pair which has the exact same color and i actually wore them together so that that's the only thing i have in this color and i love it it looks good with everything and it, it really spices everything up the reason why i was a bit hesitant with the whole gucci marmon line is because they have gold hardware they have this antique gold hardware which i think is beautiful i think it's a really really nice gold i don't like when it's too yellowy so i like that it has this yeah antique tone to it basically but i was afraid because as you can see i always always okay 95 percent of the time i wear silver jewelry and when first i was looking at the marmon bags i think it was back in rome and 
I tried it on in the store, it was the black leather version and I was wearing of course my silver jewelry and I felt like it wasn't that nice together. I don't like mixing my hardware that much, although I'm trying to be better at it because I'm starting to like gold jewelry and I think it adds a nice detail to your outfit. But yeah, I'm still learning how to mix my hardware, but this is going to be a good practice for me because obviously it's a very visible gold hardware and it's a big part of the bag. I think it's partly what makes it so beautiful. That's gonna stick in the background. Okay, I'm just gonna put it down because it's getting a bit hard to hold it. Of course, I have to say that now talking about that it's hard to hold it, it's a super lightweight bag. I have the Gucci Dionysus and compared to that, this is super light. I think that one is a bit heavy bag. It's not that it's too heavy to carry, but I can feel the weight of it. Before I go into more details about the look of the bag, I will talk more about the purchase of the bag itself. It was a mixture of a compulse and a planned buy because I've been eyeing this bag for a very, very long time, but actually I was looking at it in this turquoise color. I don't know why I was more into that because I love this way more, but for some reason this one was always way more expensive. It was way more expensive on Vestir Collective, on every other website I was looking at. But luckily, I found this for a really, really good price. I paid 6,500 for the bag itself, and then I bought it on a secondhand website where you also buy insurance and you also have to pay for delivery. So all in all, I paid like 6,800. And in my opinion, it's a really, really good price because it's basically almost half of the retail price. I don't think you can buy this anymore, maybe in some stores you can. I know I was looking at Gucci's website just to give you a more accurate information about price and everything like that and I couldn't find it. I couldn't find the velvet version in this color and I don't know about the store because everything is closed now and I haven't been there for some time. Probably you can get it somewhere new still but I never plan to buy this new. I would rather buy the, the leather version in new because Everywhere I saw, these bags lose their value so much. I mean, I think when you can buy a bag for half of the retail price, that means that it doesn't keep its value well. So I wanted to be sure that if I buy it, and at one point plan to sell it, I'm not gonna lose that much. So if even in a few years I decide to sell it, I don't think I will lose more than one, two thousand crowns, maybe not even. So, so I think it was a really, really good purchase. The price, I'm super happy with. I'm very happy with the condition. I'm happy that she had the dust bag, the box. Box. <laughs> yeah, and it is in a good condition. Of course, you can see here, for example, you can see that it's been used a little bit. It depends, that's the thing with velvet. It depends in which light you're looking at it. And the, the thing is, <laughs> velvet will have signs of use no matter how careful you are with it. So, that's also the other reasons why I wanted to have some that already has some kind of use so I don't have to be so careful with it and thinking oh I paid 13,000 for this bag or 5,000 and within a week I have scratches on it so I'm happy I got it in this way because I wouldn't have paid the full price for it and yeah now let's move into the details of the look of the bag and the sizing of this bag so as you may know Gucci has a weird sizing with the Marmont line because this is the size small, as I said before, but it's like the medium size because there's one size bigger, which is the medium, and that's super huge. So there's the mini and the super mini. I don't know if they make the super mini in velvet. I doubt that. I think they only make it in the leather version. But the mini is basically the same, identical to this, just smaller. And then the size medium is a bit taller and wider than this. I don't like that size. I think it looks pretty, but it would never be convenient for me. I am super happy that I finally got one that can be worn as crossbody. And that's due to the sliding change mechanism. So you see, if I do it like this, then I can wear it as a crossbody. And if I pull it back on, then I can wear it as a shoulder bag. I wore it, I would say, mainly crossbody because that was the whole point of it, but it's also super comfortable to wear it on a shoulder. So when you slide it like this and you wear it on your shoulder, then it has the double shoulder strap and it also has a piece of leather tab 
in almost the same rubin color as the velvet itself i really like it because obviously when you wear it crossbody then you use this part so it doesn't hurt your shoulder it's actually not painful or uncomfortable at all wearing the chain because with the dinosaurs they only have the chain but i feel like it's slightly better i would say and i think it gives a nice extra to it that it's not only a gold chain but also there's some leather to it so when you come to opening the bag then there's a push lock mechanism so you see the little button there you push it and it opens here you open it this way you see there's a leather lining here and it's also a very stiff material i don't know what's in there but it is very structured and then under the leather lining there's a satin interior with one zipper pocket it has this super cute pinky color in the back with the chevron lining there's this hard shape decor as well i heard many people are not happy with it but to be honest i really like it i think it's very cute some of the bags has the gg logo instead of the heart i don't know which models actually but i would say i almost like this heart more i think when you have the gg front and gg in the back that would be a bit too much in my opinion i mean it doesn't really matter you can really see it because if you wear it shoulder then it's covered down here if you wear a crossbody it's 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 covered by your body so it doesn't really matter what you have on the back but if you're picky like that then yeah maybe you're not gonna like the heart i actually think it's very cute so to give you an idea how much it can actually have in it i'm just gonna put everything in that i usually carry around in um, summertime or yeah summer springtime and also one thing to mention the reason why i bought this bag is because i didn't have any summery springy bags and i thought it is time to invest in one that hopefully i can wear for years and years on maybe choosing velvet material wasn't the smartest idea ever i i really don't know what to expect from this bag i love it right now and we'll just see how it goes hopefully i'm gonna get lucky because in reviews i saw if you take care of it it's not gonna you know get destroyed that easily and i know i can take care of my things so crossing my fingers but let's see what can fit in this so first of all i always have my phone with me i have my um, key holder and card holder hand sanitizer tissue and mint or chewing gum depending what i can find first a lip balm sometimes i change this to a two-in-one hand cream and lip balm it's elizabeth arden's eight hour cream i started using it recently so either that or this i just put in so i save you know i don't have to carry a separate hand cream with me i have if i have bags like this with me and i know i'm walking around in the city then i'm not bringing my big headset i just add in this like plain earphones i just like to have it in case because i never know when i'm gonna need it and i hate leaving the house without any kind of earphones headphones things like that but obviously in this bag i cannot fit my uh, bioplay headsets so um yeah i have to stick with this one i probably have to get ear pods at one point but i'm never gonna buy the original one because this, <laughs> i don't see the point in that and i love my headset which i paid a lot of money for and i don't feel like spending two times on you know earphones or whatever i don't see the point in it if you want to buy the earpods good for you i'm not gonna do that so probably just order it from some cheap website whatever okay and <laughs> out of the topic but as last thing i have my sunglasses here because as i said now we are talking about summer spring scenarios i put that in and look i still have a lot of space in here okay so <laughs> Like I can fit a lot of things in here and I really really like this that really all my essentials are in here Now it got a bit heavier But see you don't even see that it's filled up or anything because it's not pushing it at all It has everything everything I need for every day You know going out going to the city doing whatever I feel like uh, One thing for sure I'm not gonna take this to the city I mean I don't know when we'll be when we'll be when will we be able to go to the city or go out or have cocktails or whatever but i'm not going to take this bag with me because i am the clumsiest person on earth and i spill i get 
food stains and drink stains on my clothes and stuff like that and if i get any kind of stain on this i won't be able to get it out so um this will never see the city life of Odense or nightlife yeah the nightlife of Odense <laughs> But yeah, I think it's gonna be perfectly fine for, you know, everyday walks and really it's it's just it's just such a beautiful bag. I don't think I have to I have more to say and I'm probably you can tell when this video comes out that I was extremely tired when I filmed this video. I plan to film three videos, but it's not going to happen today. This is going to be definitely my last video. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm super happy with it. It was a good purchase or at least it was good value for money so far. That's how I feel. I will probably come back in a year and tell you how it worn or how much I actually could use this bag. But I have a feeling that I'm going to use this a lot and you will see it all over my Instagram because as I said, this is going to be my go-to in spring and summer. So yeah, I think that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it helped you to get an idea how this bag looks, what you can fit in it and things like that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and see you at my next one.